In this video, I'm going to solve one question from uh, the chapter limits, uh, class 11, right? So uh, we have to evaluate the limit of this function. So what we can uh, see here that by putting the value of uh, x is equal to zero, we are getting this in the form of zero by zero. Clearly, e raised to the power zero is uh, one plus e raised to the power minus zero is zero only minus two and that divided by zero. So it is in the form of uh, zero by zero, as you can see, one minus, this is one, one plus one, two, two minus two is zero. So in such a case, what we need to do is to, we need to take some steps to remove uh, this in the form of zero by zero to get a finite value. Well, most of the questions like this are evaluated by uh, using the relation that one plus, that is when limit, x tends to zero, e raised to the power x, right? Minus one over x is equal to one. So we are going to apply this in solving this question. Now, first of all, I'll write down the question here. This is, this is limit x tending to zero, e raised to the power x, minus e raised to the power minus x, minus two over x squared. Now, what I'm going to do here, here is to take uh, e raised to the power x as common. So if I take e raised to the power, not e raised to the power x, it should be e raised to the power minus x. If I take common, if I divide this by e raised to the power minus x, right? So you'll get e raised to the power 2x. Let me show you the working so as you can understand it properly. So if I show the working, it is like this. Taking common is dividing each term by the common taken, right? And it is minus 2 over e raised to the power x. So what you can see here, this is limit x tends to 0. Now, this is e raised to the power minus x, which I have taken common. Now, applying laws of exponent, this is e raised to the power positive 2x, as you know, same basis divided, powers are subtracted. So it's x and minus minus x that will give you 2x. Now this should give you one. I'm going to write it later. First, I'm going to write this part. So this is coming as two e raised to the power minus x and this get canceled to give you one here. And that divided by x square, which I missed in the previous part, that is x square. Now, what I'm going to do in the next part is to apply the identity of a plus b whole squared. So this is limit x tends to zero, e raised to the power minus x, which is uh, taken as common already outside. And then we have this. You can see that uh, we can write this in the form of a, plus a minus b whole squared. Now, what I'm talking about is this part. This is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, right? So I'll be writing this as e raised to the power x and uh, minus 1. This is e raised to the power x minus 1 whole square. I can observe one mistake done here. This was minus, so this should be positive. So e raised to the power x minus 1 whole square is what we are getting from here and that divided by x squared. In the next part, I can write this as one over e raised to the power x, and I can write in a single bracket e raised to the power x minus one over x, the whole square. Now we'll be applying limits on two different parts, like uh, I can apply limits in the first part, that is one over e raised to the power zero, that multiplied by limit x tending to zero, and this is e raised to the power x minus 1 over x whole square. Now, clearly, any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So I'll get 1 over 1 here. And using this relation, that limit x tending to 0, e raised to the power x minus 1 over x is equal to 1. So this will give you 1 square. This part will give you 1 square from here. So it is 1 into 1, and that is equal to 1. So this is 1 is the answer for this part after evaluating.